over the top there. The V180 Brian Woods Darts Review starts right now. Hey, what's up guys, Worldwide here. Hey, we're back with an affordable dart review. I know I've been pumping out a lot of higher end darts, but yeah, back today with an affordable darts review, $23 set of barrels. So yeah, in this video, we're gonna be taking a close up look and reviewing the V180 Brian Woods Darts. Now I picked these up over at Darts Corner. Now here's the deal guys, I'll leave a link down below to uh, all the V180 stuff. Although right at the moment from what I just looked, I looked yesterday and they're running low on all their V180 darts. I don't know what's going on there. And really, I don't know what's going on with Darts Corner. They're not carrying Winmore stuff. They're not carrying Target stuff anymore. So I please hope they do not discontinue the V180 line of darts all professional player darts, and they're all right around $23 barrels only. So again, I'll throw the link down below for the V180 stuff. Hopefully there's at least a couple of the Brian Woods darts left in stock because these things are quite a bit nicer than I expected them to be. And actually I've reviewed pretty much all of the V180 darts and I held off on these because they had the razor grip and I just thought they'd be kind of too grippy. I wouldn't really like them. The complete opposite is true. These things actually are not as grippy as they appear. Beautiful set of darts. I've been having a ton of fun with them, just throwing them for the last five minutes. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a good review, guys. So what do you see? We grab the other camera. We'll take a close up look at these things, do the stats and dimensions, and then my favorite part of the video, take them to the board, throw them for a bit, and as I'm throwing them, I'll give you a little bit of feedback on what I think of the V180 Brian Woods darts. So here we go, guys, should be a good one. Okay, for the unboxing part of the video, obviously there's no box because these come as barrels only. You will, however, get a point protector, but yeah, that's about it. And if you see all these stems and flights, I've only thrown these things probably just a couple turns, two, three turns, so I'm not sure which stem and flights I'm gonna use. It'll probably be one of these smaller sets of flights like the Phil Taylors. We've got some Vision Ultras here or my Cosmo setup. So yeah, one of these, I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll stick with one for the rest of the video. But yeah, quick look at the darts. These things are going to be grippy. We have some razor grip up front. And then in this back section, we have some even more aggressive type grip there. So yeah, definitely a grippy dart. But what do you say we get a little bit closer look and we'll run down some stats and dimensions. Okay, guys, there we go. Really nice close up look at these barrels here. And obviously you can tell with this razor grip section here and this aggressive back end, they're going to be definitely a grippy dart. However, I do believe this is one of those sets of barrels that may look a little more grippy than they actually are. So we'll talk about the grip here in just a second, but running down some stats and dimensions, these are a 90% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in at 52.0 millimeters long, and with these being a straight barrel dart, the maximum barrel width running from front to back, 6.3 millimeters wide. Now these were advertised as 24 grams. They came in a little bit light. However, the match weighting was actually really good. The first barrel went on the scale 23.90. The second barrel, 23.93. And the third barrel, 23.94 grams. So keep in mind guys, a $23 set of darts, better match weighting than I've seen on some $100 plus target darts recently. So yeah. Well done on the match weighting there. But what do you say we get a little bit different look and uh, we'll talk about this grip. Okay, let's talk about the grip here. I think it's kind of funny too because my stems and flights cost more than the actual barrels themselves, which is kind of ironic. But yeah, you know what? We've got this razor grip section on the front and believe it or not, this is probably the least aggressive razor grip I've ever felt in my life. I mean, there's no sharp edges here at all. Matter of fact, this back section, if you see, we've got a multi-ring and then a razor grip, a multi-ring and a razor grip. This back section is actually a little bit more grippy than the front. This front section is not grippy at all, and which is, that's unusual for a razor grip to not offer that much grip. As a result, I'm gonna go ahead and give it an overall grip level three on a scale of one to five. With this back section, maybe like a level three and a half, although eh, that's a tough call, either or, I guess. But on the back end there, you'll see the Woodpecker logo. I guess that's uh, Brian's nickname, Brian Pecker Woods. So yeah, we got a Woodpecker logo on the back. Front end, we've got the silver points. Not a fan of those things. And we also have this lip 
where the point meets the barrel. Of course, you know how we do on this channel. I'm going to fix that with these Trident 180 nose cones. But yeah, I guess I'll throw these just as you see them here with the Cosmo stem and flight setup, and uh, we'll see how they fly. I'm really interested in throwing these things. Again, not very grippy. One of those uh, darts that I believe maybe looks a little more grippy than what it is. But yeah, let's get these things on the board and uh, see how they fly. Here we go. Okay, yeah, let's have a few throws here with the V180 Brian Woods darts. Uh, Warm-ups were going pretty good. Funny enough, I did stick with the Cosmo stem and flight setup. And I say funny because we've got like $35 worth of Cosmo stems and flights attached to $23 barrels. So a little bit of a silly combination, but hey, it's working well. So, or at least it was in warm-ups. So we'll see how this goes. Hey, all right, off to a good start. Oh, really good start. Oh, pre-boom, get in there. Look at that second dart hanging on for dear life. I hope it doesn't fall out, but I was smart enough this time around. Used a little bit of sandpaper to scuff those points up before I, before I started the video, so. They're sticking in pretty well. No complaints, really. I guess really the only complaint I would have with these darts are the silver points, but again, if you scuff them up, not a big deal at all. If I was to use these things for a long period of time, if they were my match darts, obviously I would repoint these things, but um, yeah, other than that, not a big deal. If you're wondering about my grip, I am right in the middle of the barrel, pretty much dead middle of the barrel. Ah, oh, did I just do that too? <laughs> 180, 30, average killer. So yeah, my uh, point of finger and thumb right in the middle of the barrel. So a little bit of my grip is on the razor grip and a little bit is on that rear section. So seems to be working. And this, this barrel is going to work well for most players anyway. So front gripper, rear gripper or a middle gripper like myself, and hey, third dart saber. And the 52 millimeter length, it's a little bit on the longer side, but again, it's not like overly long. Like a lot, I reviewed the uh, Peter Wright darts and another set of darts, I think they were 54 plus millimeters long. That's gonna be a little bit too long for most players, but I think 52 is manageable. And the width, 6.3, that's a great width. You get some pretty tight groups. Ooh, well, that one's really low. <laughs> Man, they are going good though, except for, well, except for that second turn. What else should I say about these things? Oh yeah, again, I, I don't know what's going on with Dart's Corner, but please do not, con do not discontinue this line of darts. I think they have like eight or nine, seven, eight or nine pro player darts, all at the same price point, 23 US dollars. It is such a great line of darts, probably one of my all time favorite line of darts. Yeah, just please do not discontinue that. I know, you know, like, you know, like I said earlier, you don't carry one more anymore, no more target stuff at Darts Corner. So yeah, please keep making these. There's not much in stock right now. So it'd be a real shame to get rid of these things. Such nice darts. They got the um, Andy Pie Man Smith darts, the smooth ones, the Undertaker, um, a bunch more that I can't really think of right off hand. <laughs> no complaints how they're flying. They come off the fingertips, super clean. <gasps> Number two, pre-boom, unreal. Hey, that's how much I like these things. Look at that, and that, uh-oh, that was a tight group. And guess what, guys? We're gonna call it right there. So yeah, second turn, not too good, but that first and last turn there, hopefully bump that average up a bit. Man, that was some really good darts. Just goes to show you how much I like these things. And it's a shame that I didn't buy them sooner because you know I saw the razor grip, I didn't think I'd like them that much. And uh, wow, an amazing set of darts. Unfortunately, there's only a couple left in stock, so you better act quick. But hey, what do you say we make it three 180s for this video? Let's cue the final clip. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, 
left-hand corner. Nice deflection right over the top with a third dart there. I'll take that. Boom! Get in! So we got a first dart, third dart, and the second right on that bottom wire. So there it is, guys. Perfect place to end the video. And oh, hey, before we get, uh, before I forget, what do you say we cue that boom instant replay? I think that's a nice little feature. Got the Sony camera up on the uh, arm coming out of the wall, recording the close-up action. So yeah, it's a nice little feature, but there we go, guys. Surprisingly, a nice set of darts. Didn't, like I said earlier in the video, didn't think I'd like them because of the razor grip, but um, the least aggressive razor grip I've ever felt. Once again, guys, I'll have the link down in the pinned comment to go to Darts Corner. Let's hope, maybe they're just running low on stock. I don't know what's going on with them, but let's hope they continue producing the V180 darts, in my opinion. One of the best line of darts, most affordable as well, in all of darts. All of the V180 darts that I've reviewed have been excellent. So uh, well worth it. Excellent machining, the match weighting. Can't go wrong with these things. So yeah, let's hope they have more in stock soon. But anyway, guys, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thumbs up. You know how we do here. Always appreciated here on this channel. Any bit, any thumbs up can help. And hey, it's free, so might as well. So until next time, guys, we will catch you on the next video. Later.